every life. Michael Cop? Yep, found him out on the highway by the swamp, drilled through the head. No. Fact, shot dead. Gosh. Everybody liked Ed, too. Yeah. Do they know who done it? Well, the last time. soon as you get anything. Right. Good morning. What can I do for you? Lieutenant Webster, Springfield Police. Oh, pleased to meet you, Lieutenant. I'm Chief White. Glad to know you, White. You can check that identification with Captain Schaefer at Springfield. Oh, this is good enough for me. What's the matter with your face? No shots, just a graze, though. Who done it? Same guy that got you a motorcycle, man. Are you sure about that? Where is he? Lying out in the swamp. Dead. Did you get the story about the big payroll robbery in the city yesterday? Yeah, they got away with $19,000. Right. Take a look in that briefcase. Oh, holy smokes! But, but what's all this got to do with the Martin killing? Well, the man who pulled the payroll robbery is Frank Dyson. Frank Dyson? You know, the ex-baseball player. Fans used to call him Rabbit Foot Dyson. Oh, yeah, I know about him. So you're the dirty skunk who killed my brother. Now, wait. You got it all wrong, now. Now, wait. This is not the guy. They told me outside. I don't care what they told you outside. This is Detective Webster at the Springfield Police. He got the guy that kills your brother. Look at that payroll. You mean the same guy? The same guy. It's the truth. You see, Ed Martin was a motorcycle cop. This is his brother, Mal, my deputy. Oh. Now, take it easy, boy. Simmer down. It's okay, Chief. It's okay. I'm all right. I'm sorry, Webster. They told me outside. Oh, forget it. I'm sorry about your brother. Let me see if I can fix up that face of yours. You know, Mal here is a real hot baseball fan. Take a look at those pictures. You know who it was, Mal? No. Rabbitfoot Dyson. Oh, Rabbitfoot Dyson? Well, where is he? He's back in the swamp. Grazed my cheek. Have you ever seen him? Yeah, years ago when he was a ball player. He was a great pitcher. But he crook even then. He sure was. They threw him out of the big leagues for fixing a ball game. Yeah, right out on his ear, his second year in the majors. I'll never forget the game he pitched in St. Louis. I was just a kid in high school. Here, hold this. Hey, wait a minute. I thought Dyson was in the pen, a loft job or something. He got out. Break jail? Yep. Hmm. Little Joe must have been working overtime. Little who? Little Joe, that rabbit foot he always carried. Oh. By the way, he counted on that thing every time he got in a tight spot or every time he pitched a ball. 
Little Joe never failed him. Well, Little Joe failed him today. I kind of wish you hadn't got the guy. Well, if I could have got my hands on that lousy crook. Now, you're an officer of the law, Mal. And brother or no brother, you handle things regular or you go off the force. They've been talking lynch all around town. There won't be any lynching while I'm wearing this badge. Oh, by the way, how did you happen to run onto this guy, Webster? As a matter of fact, I wasn't even on duty. I just started my vacation last night. I was in the diner on the train when I read about the robbery. The account said that Dyson had broken jail and was suspected of being in on it. Then I noticed this fellow with a briefcase. It seemed kind of jittery. It made me suspicious. You know how you get a feeling about someone? Oh, sure. Well, then he spilled the salt. And he picked some up and tossed it over his shoulder. Well, the thing clicked in my mind. You know how it is. Yeah, Dyson's superstitious as they come. Well, I kept my eye on him, but he got suspicious. What happened then? He slipped off the train just as he was pulling in here. What's the name of this town? Uh, Crescent City. Yeah, Crescent City. I barely had time to hop off myself. I lost him for a while. Probably never would have found him if he hadn't killed your man. I heard the shot and followed him into the swamp. <laughs> what a spot. That's where he pulled the gun on me. You think you could lead us to the body? Well, I could try, but that swamp's a maze. I got lost there myself. You were lucky. A lot of quagmire in that swamp. You step in that stuff and you're done for. You must have had a little Joe in your pocket. What? Oh, I get it. The rabbit's foot. Huh? I'll lock this money up for you. OK. I figured I'd take it back to Springfield tonight. There ought to be a promotion in this for me. You got it coming to you, brother. We've seen that you get out of here on the 415 eastbound. Too bad about your vacation, Webster. For a captain's pay, I can stand it. There it is. Safe as church. Do you have plenty of boots, Mal? Yeah, sure, Chief. They're in the car. Good. Come on. Looks like the place. Hey, that clump of trees looks familiar. But I sure don't see any dead body. Watch it. What's the matter? That's probably what happened to your body. Quagmire. Bogs full of it. Gators, too. Alligators this far north? Swamp attraction. Well, we can come back here and keep looking for Dyson's body, but there's not much chance we'll find it. Come on, Webster. I'll get you a room in the hotel where you can rest till train time. Well, I sure could use a rest. Sure set a lot of store by that rabbit foot. I'll never forget the time a fan swiped it for a gag. Dyson nearly killed the guy. They had to drag him off. Uh. Lost something? No, I was just looking for a cigarette. Oh, here you are. You know, all baseball players are screwballs about something. But Dyson, he had it in spades. Nice. Just like you caught him tossing salt over his shoulder. Boy, he'd walk a mile out of his way if a black cat crossed his path. <laughs> Anything wrong, Webster? No, I... Uh, you've had a pretty rough time. You need a good rest. Yeah, sure do. Come on.
couldn't have left behind. Joe. Change coats with a cop. It's not possible. Oh, that little Joe. It's not possible. Oh, that little Joe. I tell you, I saw that guy. Saw him myself in St. Louis. Oh, sure, sure. That was years ago when you were a kid sitting in the bleachers, a mile away from the pitcher's bars. Ah, oh, you're crazy now. Now, look, Chief, you got to believe me. I tell you, he's a dead ringer for the guy. Are you prepared to make a positive identification? Well, no, holy smoke, that was years ago. People change, you know. Did you see how scared he was when he walked under that ladder? We can't go off half-cocked on some Tom fool's suspicion. It would cause no end of trouble. Now, look, Chief, will you listen you to me? you think that any crook would walk right into a police station and give me that $19,000 to put in my safe there? Well, sure. Don't you see? That was the only thing to do. He couldn't get five miles without us catching him. This way, he walks right out. Dyson was always like that. Played his head every minute. Now, why can't we get a make on him from Springfield? That's the first thing he told me to do when he walked in here. What do you want me to do, fingerprint the guy? Well, we could hold him over, use some kind of an excuse. He doesn't have to know why. Oh, forget it, Mal. You're barking down a rain barrel. If only I could see the guy pitch. I'd know that style of his anywhere. Oh, sure, sure. Why not invite him out to a game of catch? Never was another quite like it. The way he used that rabbit foot. He kept it right here on his belt, and he'd sort of touch the ball to it before each throw. <laughs> Why talking? Yeah. You did? How long ago? We get right on it. All right, Mal, forget the pipe dream. I'm going back out and have another look around that swamp. You want to come along? No, you go ahead, Chief. I'll look after things around here. But are you sure Dyson was dead when you left him? Why do you ask that? Got a report. Man seen in the swamp. I'm deputizing a posse to scout around. You're a waste of time. I suppose so. But I'm going to check anyway. You want to come along? I don't think so. Right, I'm all in. I'm going to rest up. All right. But don't worry. If it's Dyson, we'll get him. Sure. I only had little Joe. Oh, hi there. Chief told me you'd be sleeping. Couldn't sleep. Any news? All same old stuff, rumors mostly. By the way, I called Springfield. Yeah? Yeah, told him what happened. Sure mighty happy about you saving all that money and getting Dyson. Should do you a lot of good. I sure hope so. Did you hear anything from White? Nah, guys think they see Dyson all over the swamp. I don't think they saw him at all. Some tramp, likely, scared of a rag pinch. Yep, sure is a mighty big swamp. Don't hold tracks of hoot. The boys will have their hands full. I don't envy them. What are you fooling with that thing for? This? Oh, it's just something from the lost and found department. Bad luck opening an umbrella inside, ain't it? Kind of hard to believe a grown man you can take that stuff seriously, isn't it? Yeah, but if Dyson walked in here, he sure would. Imagine Rapper put Dyson sticking his nose inside a police station. Yeah. Look, Martin, I gotta get back to Springfield. I can't do any more good here. Give me that briefcase, will you? Oh, what's your hurry, Webster? I'm on vacation, remember? I don't want to miss that train. What are you talking about? Your train doesn't leave for two hours. Will you get me that briefcase? Sure. Okay. I wonder if Dyson could still be alive. You sure you got him? Just as sure as I... Any luck, Chief? I found this. 
F.D. Frank Dyson. You lose your hat in the bog, too, Webster? I wasn't wearing a hat. Cigarette? Thanks. What? Yeah, thanks. You want to come along? We got a mighty fine pack. A pack? Hounds. Pleasure to watch him work. One whiff of this and they'll get Dyson, if he's anywhere around. No, I, I think I better stay oh, here. Oh, sure, sure. You'll come. No, we don't use them in the city. Quiet. He sure got it in for you, hasn't he, Webster? All right, men. Now we fan out. So watch yourself. We want to take this man alive if we possibly can. Now let's get going. Oh, Webster. Webster. Well, you better stick with me. It's easy to get in trouble in this bog. I'll take care of him, Chief. You've got your hands full. Okay. You'll be all right with Mal. He knows every bump and holler in this swamp. But don't get separated. These men of mine are pretty nervous. They know they're dealing with the killer. And I couldn't blame them much if they shoot first and ask questions afterwards. I'll see you later. Go on, boy. All right, let's get going. See the fork? According to the folks around here, that's powerful bad medicine to see a devil's pitchfork. But you're not superstitious, are you, Webster? Of course not. Look then. If we find Dyson's body, mind if I keep the rabbit foot? What do you want it for? Oh, I don't know. It's rabbit foot Dyson's little Joe. How about it, Webster? We haven't found him yet. If we keep up this yakety yak, we never will. Come on.
prettiest gator I ever seen. No problem. Don't use that gun. They'll have the whole posse down about our ears in less than five minutes for nothing. Here. Think you can hit it with this? Right between the eyes. <laughs> Only one man in the world throws like that. What are you talking about? You're Frank Dyson. Rabbitfoot Dyson. I'm gonna kill you. You're crazy. Staying right there. That's Quagmire, remember? You shouldn't have jerked around like that. Now you'll never get out. Martin, you gotta help me. After what you did to my brother. You can't just let me die here. Martin, you can't just let me die here. Martin, I can't feel bottom. That's right, Dyson. Because there ain't no bottom. I'll give you anything. I'll give you money. You can have the payroll money. I'll give you little Joe. You ain't got little Joe to give, Dyson. Your luck's plumb out. Joe. Joe. You want to know something, mister? I don't want little Joe. You know why? Because it's bad luck. Little Joe, bad luck. No, Joe's always good luck. He's always been good luck. All right. Let's see him get you out of this one. Let's Joe! Get... Martin! Martin! What's the matter, Dyson? Little Joe's luck run out. Martin, you gotta help me. You can't just stand there and watch a man die. You got feelings, haven't you? Yeah. I got feelings. I hate and love and laugh and cry, just like any other person. I even feel pity. Sometimes. Martin! your head in with us. Oh. But I can't do it. 